Hi, thanks for joining me. I'm Anne. My son-in-law has recently introduced me to a series of YouTube videos by Peter Chan, a bonsai expert who has a nursery near London. The first episode I watched fascinated as he pruned a dissector maple tree. Its lace-like leaves were a resplendent, deep, rich red, and it rose like a fountain that then spilled toward the ground. I thought it was lovely just as it was, but Peter told us that it was overgrown and it needed maintaining. Clearly, it was hiding an even greater beauty um, that only a good prune could reveal. He advised that the art of bonsai includes revealing the tree trunk to best advantage. Its structure, its twists and turns and knots and texture, its elegance and solidity. Firstly, he cut away the growth at the front, which completely hid the trunk. Lots of branches got cut and thrown on the ground. This exposed the branches behind that had died, not because the tree was unhealthy, but for lack of light. So these also got cut. As Peter did all this, the tree began to lighten and the true structure of the tree re-emerged. The bonsai artist occasionally stepped back to view the tree. Then he lopped other parts off the tree. He explained how important it is to keep an eye on the overall shape, the big picture, to not get lost in the detail. That way, each cut enhances the whole. After that, Peter trimmed and layered the remaining foliage. Like a hairdresser styling hair, he thoughtfully snipped here and there to feature everything that made this tree beautiful. He pointed out a stumpy bit, marking the junction where a branch had once been. He sawed it back to be less obtrusive and um, then smoothed a protective paste over the newly exposed part, as well as over where some of the other larger branches had been cut. This made sure that the tree retained moisture and could keep growing through the rest of the summer. I thought the tree was beautiful before Peter had started, but now his gentle and purposeful cutting had transformed it into a truly exquisite looking tree. The video reminded me of Jesus' words about himself when he said, I am the true vine and my father is the gardener who tends it. He cares for the branches connected to me by lifting and propping up the fruitless branches and pruning every fruitful branch to yield a greater harvest. Just like the bonsai artist, God the Father prunes each person connected to Christ who's living in his love and strength. The Father knows what's needed to bring out the tree's beautiful qualities and structure. He knows when and how to transform it into the best it can be. Because of his skillful work, the trunk, which I liken to Jesus, becomes the central feature. The pruning exposes Jesus' suffering but triumphant love in each twist and knot and scar. Those who believe in him are like the branches touched by God's light of life. Jesus said, I love each of you with the same love that the Father loves me. You must continually let my love nourish your hearts. If you keep my commands, you will live in my love, just as I have kept my Father's love. My purpose for telling you these things is so that the joy that I experience will fill your hearts to overflowing with gladness. Here's a David Adam prayer you may find meaningful. 
Renew us in your glory. Stir us in your power. Renew us in your kingdom. Develop in us your faith. Show us your way. Open in us your love. Strengthen in us your miracles. Revive in us your resurrection. Abide in us yourself. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now. Thank you.